Hi guys, what's up? Tori here. So I am here to do a baby update because the last time I did a video was like right around when I first found out I was pregnant. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a busy person. I work full time. I have Bravely now. Um, and just life is always really super busy. So just finding time to do videos is just not going to be as simple as it was with Bravely's pregnancy, but I'm going to try to do them as often as I can. Um, but basically the main update I'm going to have for you is my official due date is February 14, 2023. Um, that actually, that's based off of my last menstrual cycle. I actually had an ultrasound a few weeks ago and that actually put me, the ultrasound actually put me at being due February 20, but my OB, um, is just keeping my regular due date just because he's like, your cycle, because I told him like my cycles really are pretty regular and all of that, so... Just keeping my due date at February 14, so that puts me at, so today is um, Wednesday, August 3, so that puts me at 12 weeks and one day today, so I'm almost at the end of this first trimester, thank goodness, because it's been rough. Um, I've had a lot of nausea, I've had some horrible indigestion, just um, a lot <laughs> of just feeling yucky. I have yet to ever like throw up or anything, but just have had a lot of feeling yucky and ugh, and just tired. I've had a lot of tiredness too. It's just been overall pretty <laughs> rough so far this pregnancy. So um, I'm definitely very thankful that I am getting close to entering the end of this trimester. Um, so only got a couple weeks ago and I'll be officially in second trimester. So we're getting there so close, so close. I'm in the countdown. Um, but I actually saw my OB today for the first time and everything was really good. I heard baby's heartbeat for the first time and it was beating at 167 beats per minute, which is really good. And it's so cool hearing the heartbeat. I always love hearing the baby's heartbeat. Um, and everything was really good. Basically the plan of action for this pregnancy is just like with Braley's pregnancy. Um, if you remember because of my history of blood clots and, um, high blood pressure from when I was obese. Um, they put me on, last with Bradley's pregnancy, they put me on Lovenox, which is a blood thinner and a baby aspirin to help with high blood pressure. Um, they are going to be doing the same thing again with this pregnancy, um, just to keep, <laughs> just to, you know, keep up, just to do the same thing, just because I'm the same risk level and stuff with his pregnancy as I was with Braley's pregnancy. Um, the big thing though he said is that um, he will not send me out to the maternal fetal medicine office unless he feels he absolutely needs to, like something else comes up that he just wants their opinion on. Um, because he, <laughs> sorry, I keep hearing our door close. I think my husband keeps going in and out, but, um, um, but yeah, he said unless something else comes up that he feels he needs their opinion on, he's like everything, like if I were to send you now, they would pretty much just tell us what we already know we should be doing for your pregnancy. So right now he's like, I just don't feel a need to send you out there. I feel like it's, that would just be kind of a waste of your time. Um, he's like, so at this point, we're just going to follow the same course of action as the last pregnancy unless something else comes up. So he said, you know, ultrasounds we can do out this way and stuff. Um, he said, you know, because he's like, we can keep track of baby's growth because Braley's growth got restricted because of my messed up placenta. He's like, all of that we can watch for out here without having to send you all the way out that way. So he said that we'll just keep watch over all of that here. Um, so yes, I'm going to be starting the Lovenox and the baby aspirin in this coming week. Um, and then because I will be on the blood thinners, I will also get induced again. He said, hopefully maybe this time I'll make it more to like 39 weeks instead of 37 weeks because hopefully baby will grow normally and like really did um but yeah so i mean i'm gonna be induced again and all that um hopefully in around 39 weeks but everything was really good to, at today's appointment like i just kind of was able to like follow up with him on questions and all of that so everything was really good and yeah so not really a super super time to update on but yeah, I mean, like I said, I've told you I've already been feeling um, lots of tiredness, nausea, indigestion. It's been terrible. Those are the main things, though, that I've had. Um, 
that's definitely been very different from Bradley's pregnancy. I know some people say if one pregnancy is very different from the other, that means it's the opposite gender. So I've had people trying to tell me this time it could be a boy, but it, that's an old wives tale. It's not always really a true thing. So we'll see. We'll find out. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my bump, which I definitely do have a little bit of a bump already, which I know it's been um, said that you start showing sooner with a second pregnancy than you do with the first because your uterus has already stretched once before so like that just kind of all starts being there sooner so there definitely is already a little bit of a bump there so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys so we'll just go ahead and back you up to like here and I'll tilt this downward so here is I just have a tight tank top on so here is with tank top down so facing forward to this side see so yeah definitely a little bump there already and to the side I'll even like roll my shorts down a little bit so that way you guys can see like more like yeah looking to the side and this side definitely am showing a little bit already there's definitely a bump there um it's always way more, it's in the evening right now, it's always way more prominent at this time of day in the evening than it is earlier in the day, but I definitely do have a little bit of a bump started, so I'll go ahead and show you with the shirt up too. So here's this way, facing this way, and facing this way. So yeah, my nice sweet little bump already, um, but that is everything for you guys for this video and I will see you in the next one and who knows when that will be just based on life. See you guys later. Bye.